Rollins are ready to go. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, round one underway. This man is all the rage, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter, outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC, not a lot, because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Choi. Oh, high amplitude head kick! Just misses with the left hook. Big knee there. Nice block. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. And just misses with that big right hand. All right, early round action here, and a nice leg kick. You don't see a lot of those in the squared circle, DC. Well, and when you're predominantly a boxer, when you're a boxer, you don't expect many kicks. You have a wider stance. So that opens up the kick, and we see the balanced fighter go into that, knowing that that was an advantage that he has in this fight. Nice leg kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Big shot lands for both guys. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. We march on three minutes to go. Flam with the inside leg kick. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. This they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those. He might be. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by the Korean Super Bowl. Just out of range with that strike. Massive head kick. Oh, straight punch. Two minutes to go in round one. DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. That's a pretty good jab. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Actually, right, so that guy's starting to show some signs of damage a little bit. Taking too many leg kicks. Got to check him. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, that was landed, yep. 
Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, big left. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. 30 seconds to go here. They're so evenly matched, they're going tit for tat. 20 seconds now remain in the round. 15 seconds to go. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Oh, Round two straight ahead. level highlights from that last round DC take us through the replay if he fought like this I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right kickboxing competition he's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will he needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on you ready to fight you ready Let's all right second round underway all right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Choi. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. There's that jab. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Beautiful body kicks. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Real sneaky body kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Troy gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Kick to the body by Chor. Well, he was a little bit... Oh! This could be it! Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Choi's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Oh, big knee! Less than two minutes now to go. Such a sneaky head 
kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really push, put on the gas to try to find that finish. Well, you know this is the... Oh! He's in a lot of trouble now. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Straight punch is true. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Well, we've got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse. And nice block. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Punch. Final seconds here of round two. Uh, round three next. Uh, All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. Third round underway. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Again, he's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Hands higher, hands higher. Leg kick. His misses are entertaining. Jab. Send the pace. Leg gets to the target. Nasty high kick lands. And he continues to work the body here. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. And clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Troy is taking aim at that cut right now. A strong decision by him to land strikes on an area that he has already done significant damage on. Big shot to the head. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Back to the feet. Taking that point. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Troy's shot is blocked. 
Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Tremendous body kick lands from this guy. Oh, misses with the jab. really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. He gets to his spot, the tight hook. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. But as you watch, he's trying, but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within, his, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to this fight. Nice jab. Oh, nice oh. Oh, no. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh, heavy shots raining down. All right, so the cut is getting out of control. The corner doesn't seem to be in any great rush to throw in the tower, but you got to think we're going to get some referee involvement here soon. Well, we get to the school. If we get to the school, they're going to look at that cut and they're going to stop this fight. Because not anyone with a brain can look at that and know that this guy should not be in the fight anymore. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Solid punch. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh. Oh, nice right hand. Beautiful kick there. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high in building here in this next round. Confidence is key. And he has right now. Back to his feet. Checks that leg kicks. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career. Oh, oh he's in trouble. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 10. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive. That is so good. He's out! Oh, the new Hulk Shrine! That has got to feel good! What a performance.
All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight.